Let's do the human embryo model. So, here's where we're at right here. So, we've talked about fertilization model. So, we've talked about the sperm uh, penetrating the oocyte. Their nuclei fuse form the zygote. We talked about the first cleavage, second cleavage, third cleavage formation of the marula, blastocyst, and then the gastrula. So remember, as I've already mentioned, you have implantation of the blastocyst that occurs right here within the endometrium. So that's where we're at. So this is showing you the first model here. Uh, so right here we have the chorion. That's all this right here. This in blue. The chorionic villi right here. Next, we have this red structure here. This is called the amnion. This right here is the yolk sac. This right here, or the probosome, that is the embryonic disc. So, let me go over it one more time, real quick. So, chorion, chorionic villi here, Amnion here. Embryonic disc here. Yolk sac here. Amnion, embryonic disc, yolk sac. Number two. Not much has changed. We see again the chorion right here chorionic villus here 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 and we can see this structure right here again what is that uh, that would be the amnion right here Amnion, yolk sac, right here. Embryonic disc again. Amnion, embryonic disc, yolk sac. Right here we see a little bit of a formation of, um, of, of the umbilicus. Excuse me. We see a little bit of the formation of the umbilicus. Okay? Now, we have the extra embryonic coelom right here. Extra embryonic coelom right here. So go over again. Chorion. Chorionic villa here, here, here. Uh, this whole structure would be the chorion again. Chorion. This right here would be your coronic villi here, here, here. Amnion, embryonic disc, yolk, sac, umbilicus. Okay, you ready for number three? Now, we can see uh, a lot of changes that have happened here. So, if you look right here, This embryonic disc structure, uh, we can see that with the embryonic disc, uh, there's going to be formation of your germ layers. Your ectoderm, your mesoderm, and your endoderm. We'll go over this in lecture. The ectoderm gives rise to your skin. Your ectoderm, excuse me, your ectoderm gives rise to your skin and your nervous system. 
your endoderm is going to give rise to your uh, endothelial linings of like your uh, gastrointestinal tract and your um, respiratory uh, linings as well. So just basically endothelial cells with the endoderm. Now the mesoderm is going to give rise to your muscle uh, like your cardiac muscle, uh, like your skeletal muscle, like your bones, uh, cartilages, those kind of structures. We've been over that in 201, so uh, be sure you understand about the three germ layers, ectoderm, mesoderm, endoderm. Now, we can see formation of an embryo right here. So this shows you the embryo. So that shows you the embryo. So a lot of the same structures here. So this would be your embryo right here, which is going to uh, come from this embryonic disc here. Your three germ layers uh, give rise to uh, this embryo as we see here. Now, a lot of the same structure here. What is this? You should know this is your what? Chorion, right? This is your chorionic villi. And we have uh, the extra embryonic coelom again. Yolk sac umbilicus right there. And then we have placenta right there. That would be your placenta. Okay. Now, uh, we have the embryo here. We can see some structures starting to take uh, shape here. Here is the eye right here. Here would be the gill arches right here. Here would be the somites right here, come from the mesoderm. And tail buds right here. And let's move on to this one here. This is number four here. Uh, we can see that the at this structure here, that's your placenta that's getting more and more developed. Uh, the placenta will be fully formed and fully functioning uh, by the end of the third month. Uh, and it will be producing the hormones, uh, progesterone and estrogen. What structure, I repeat, what structure produces the progesterone and estrogen uh, for the first three months? your corpus luteum. This structure right here. So, we see the uh, amniocoronic membrane right here. That's your amniocoronic membrane. Right in here would be your amniotic fluid. This is your embryo. This is your umbilicus. This is the uh, yolk sac is getting smaller. And this would be your placenta uh, that's getting more developed, which comes from your coronic villi. Okay, here we have some structures of the embryo. I, right here. Uh, this right here would be the gill arches. 
somites again, tail bud right here, and anterior limb bud right here. And uh, this structure right here we'll do in another video. Uh, this is a four and a half week old embryo here. And we'll do the structures uh, in another video.